you know, I was trying to kind of like start a conversation, but she kept calling me sir, kept calling me lieutenant. It just kind of happened naturally, so, I mean, we connected on so many levels, so I think it was just like a mutual understanding. She's very creative with, with arts and designs, I would say. That's something that a lot of people, she's not going to present that, but she is. He likes peace and quiet, he doesn't like large crowds. He's not shy, but he does like to kind of be low key. Well, before she came along, my, my mentality then was so focused on work um, at the ASTS. I was, I was the MRO then at the time, the medical readiness officer. So when I came to the unit, it was all business. I had moved from Columbus at that time and just starting a brand new journey with the Air Force. Poor thing. <laughs> I felt bad for her. She was like a deer in headlights. Goodness. I, I saw her struggle, and uh, you know, and I stepped in and, and, and kind of offered a helping hand. I know it meant so much. I was so overwhelmed and confused, but it was so helpful, and he was so supportive through the whole process. Like it was great. But I mean, at some point, um, our conversation kind of drifted from work to you know personal life. So that's when I kind of felt like. Mm -hmm going somewhere different now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think that was like one of the key things that we connected on in the beginning outside of military work. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, you know, I, I of course I was, I've been preaching for, you know, for a while and it, 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 it was challenging like to really kind of like open yourself up to, you know, too much in the whole dating scene. You know, that was something that she actually valued. Like, she wanted to know more. She wanted to hear sermons, and she really wanted to, to connect, you know, on that level. And um, that was, like, refreshing for me. It's like, because I hadn't really seen that, you know. That was that was a, a huge, kind of a huge push for me. There was one moment, I would say, <laughs> that um, she was kind of, like, you know, really embarrassed during my ordination process when I got ordained. Um, you know, she thought that she was just gonna kind of be there taking pictures and kind of being on the side, but they ended up they ended up calling both of us into the, into the front of the church, and all of the husbands and wives that were there in the church came up. They put hands on us, and everybody just started praying for us. I felt Joanne squeeze my hand so tight <laughs> <laughs> while she was while they was praying and while it was going on, and, and she was just squeezing. Yeah, that was, she knows that, that was like key, 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 uh, because I, I, I had always told, you know, even I, I shared with my son and as he grew, as he was growing up that, you know, the first woman that I introduced him to was gonna be the woman that I proposed to. And he picked up on Joanne's spirit immediately. And and since then, he's been making little gifts for her, mm -hmm. little bracelets. So sweet. And like wooing my fiance, Ooh. you know, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, but it was so important. I was a little skeptical. It's something I've never done before, actually, instead of avoid. But um, I feel like at some point um, during my whole dating history, I just kind of surrendered. I was finding love and just gave it to God and I'm like, Lord, you know, whoever, I mean, if he has a child, you know, whatever the case may be, if it's your will, then I'm, I'm going to go with that. And I uh, definitely felt it with him. So, and I've been blessed ever since, you know, the relationship between Carson and I is great. It's been a blessing. When I first met Carson, his son, um, we met up at the movies and, um, <laughs> When I walked up, uh, his son kind of looks up at him and says, how does my hair look? As if I was here to see him. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like, we still joke about that. <laughs> For me, you know, one of my weaknesses was like confidence, I would say, like with the military world, that was, I don't like being caught off guard. I like to be on point, you know, just knowledgeable and, you know, but um, just being comfortable with not knowing and just still having confidence to move forward and say, well, you know, I don't know, but I, I will, you know. Yeah, and um, I would say, you know, 
Joanne has, has, has definitely helped me to just appreciate, you know, the person that that I am in, in other people's lives. I have a, a, a strong tendency to to downplay, you know, successes, mm -hmm. and you know, she's always kind of there, you know, elevating that moment for me. And, and I think that's one thing that you know has made me a better human. It's just, you know, um, kind of learning just to kind of appreciate, you know, things that I've done so far, and mm -hmm. um, and that that I continue to do. So. Mm -hmm.